Hey there everyone, I figured I uh, would put together a quick video uh, based on um, the changes I've made to uh, the early access bill for version 3.2 of Community Theme Creator. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to show off here, as you can see, I'm now pulling in the um, uh, spine images. And to do that, we'll go to wheel item templates. I need to find that template. I think it's this one. Or not. <laughs> it's this one. All right. And if I deselect it, okay, image spine, it's under metadata, game box spine, okay. All right, so now you can reference that if you so wish. I've also included a whole ton of other metadata fields that you can reference for imaging. As you can see here, we have the Epic Games background, 1 through 9, uh, poster, 1 through 9, screenshot, 1 through 9. <clears throat> I've also got, uh, whoops, uh, GOG, it's the same deal, Origin, and are you seeing this on the list? Yeah. Uh, screenshots, let's see, uh, Steam, okay, and let me just go back to uh, selected, no, I just do, I did something, all right. Um, okay, so that's spine. All right. And just one more. Let's see. I know I updated a few platforms recently just to pull in the imaging. There you go. Pretty cool. Um, okay, so let me go back to another. I'm trying to think. Yes. So on the wall view, I'm showing gameplay for each of the games here. If I pick um, Steam, for example, I'm now picking up the uh, gameplay. Okay. So what I've done, <clears throat> again, if I just go to wheel item templates, pretty much all the work that I was doing uh, this weekend was wheel item templates, which is, you know, uh, my my last item uh, for 3.2, uh, albeit the animation piece that I am uh, need to wrap up. But as I'm delving or diving into wheel item templates um, uh, to, to see what functionality I can add to it and so on and so forth, I'm finding issues or I found issues. So let's edit this one. And so I have a Steam screenshot and I have gameplay. Okay. So if I just disable the Steam screenshot for now, and we have, um, you know, we have this, this gameplay here. This is now based on a new, uh, well, actually, these weren't working before. All right. 
not for wheel item uh, templates. So I fixed that. And in doing so, I decided to add other metadata values for imaging. All right. So, so anyway, um, so by specifying the first game sh uh, gameplay or screenshot for a given game, um, you can select these metadata values here. And then what I did for Steam Screenshot, as the name implies, again, I'm leveraging another metadata, a new metadata um, imaging value, Steam Screenshot 1. All right. All right. So, you know, you can have multiple layers depending on where the um, where the values may be, where they're housed or whatnot, various conditioning. As you can see, I've got conditioning on, on here. If I don't have a Steam screenshot, then basically it collapses. Um, if it has one, then obviously it makes it visible. Okay. Uh, and if it doesn't have it, then um, then it will attempt to just take the default uh, gameplay screenshot. Um, so more imaging options for you, uh, both in the um, main view and uh, obviously in the wheel item template. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. That was pretty much it, um, but I wanted to I wanted to at least show you or at least demonstrate um, where these new metadata values uh, can be used. Uh, some of you that have actually been playing with wheel item templates um, have complained in the past that once the theme is published, uh, the published theme running under big box doesn't actually show the screenshots. It shows some other um, image and that may be due to whatever priority has been set on your computer, but now you can actually override that priority and say, hey, I've designed these wheel item templates to show, <clears throat> excuse me, wheel item templates to show gameplay. And that is what it's going to, to display as long as that user has the artwork. All right. So again, I just wanted to cover this before I put the early access build out on Patreon. All right. So um, until the next uh, set of changes and the next video, uh, take care, everyone. I'll see you soon.